going on guys, AK here, and on today's video we're going to be talking about the new Rush game mode that has been released with the Lightning Strikes uh, Tides of War, uh, I'd say DLC I suppose. Uh, in this footage you're going to see some of the main issues and cruxes that I spoke about in a previous video that I feel that Battlefield 5 has the issues that Battlefield 5 faces uh, going forward. Now in the footage you'll see me rushing down the left flank with a shotgun to try and push behind the enemy and if you uh, take note of the mini-map and as you'll see, a lot of my teammates are camping just outside of the main objective area because they're too afraid to push forward. Because as I stated in a previous video, um, the game itself works on, as I said, as it's already known, an attrition-based system whereby, you know, uh, bullets do more damage and, generally speaking, uh, you die a lot faster. So it's a more hardcore game style, which sort of benefits a more defensive playstyle. But in a game mode like Rush, where the attacking team are pushing forward to the objective, this sort of uh, game meta, as as such, doesn't really work for the game as intended. Now, as you'll see, and you can pay, pay close attention to the minimap, my team push hardly at all. They do hardly any pushing forward, they don't try to flank people. The enemy team, uh, in the time it has taken my team to even get into any objective areas, have built up well fortified areas and are basically doing what the game what the game is sort of made for, the meta of the game. They're, they're holding an objective, which is how the game is supposed to be played. Look, teammates in the corner there. Now, I'm trying to push up and do something about the enemies coming out of the objective areas where if you look on the minimap again our team aren't doing a hell of a lot of pushing I'm there's a person who just died over by Bravo granted that's like one out of uh, the entire team including myself the all of the others are legitimately just outside the front of A and they're not trying to push forward because the game doesn't benefit the game you don't get anything for trying to rush an objective apart from death, as you can see here. You, you don't gain anything. There's no... Uh, there's nothing to gain from it. Everyone's just... Uh, my team, in particular, are just sort of waiting in the background, trying to edge forward, but they can't because the enemy fire is coming in and killing them too quick before they can do anything. This is me now trying to think of a way how I can get my team to spawn behind the objective. Uh, so I think, well, the best thing I can do is use a semi-auto rifle, uh, or a self-loading rifle in this re in this case, and sneak around the back of the enemy, place a spawn beacon down so other people can spawn on the beacon. And this doesn't go uh, according to plan. Uh, I eventually do get behind the enemies, but only at about 10 tickets left. Uh, then my squad spawn on me, and we manage to get an objective planted and then everyone dies and we lose and the reason we lost is because the game is so hardcore now I'm not saying that we should change the game change the way how it plays I don't want that okay I just think that needs to be more incentive for the players to push more help for them to push because this is the problem with Battlefield 5 in that everyone is so afraid of dying that they don't push forward but you know griping aside do I like the new game mode the short answer to that is no I don't I mean it's not a new game mode as such uh, this seems like another dice attempt at creating some new and interesting content using old maps before recycling them um, and not really hitting the mark in terms of things that they could produce. I get the feeling that this game is no longer being produced by a big uh, company, uh, a big team or a studio, whatever you want to call them, and is now just sort of being cobbled together by like a team of three or four people doing it in their spare time in between doing other sorts of projects and whatnot else. And it just doesn't come across as a sort of polished product. It's it's just the same sort of standard rush gameplay. Only this time you die quicker and you die easier and your team don't help you and they don't push up and they don't work together. Unless you've got a 
genuinely unless you've got uh, a group of people four five uh, you know eight people if you if you're playing with eight friends and you're actually pushing and rushing and doing what the game is suggesting and working as a team then I imagine this would work flawlessly uh, unfortunately uh, I don't think that is the case with, with most public games it's not the way it works um, I killed myself there because I realized I wasn't using the Pathfinder I was using the sniper and if you've got Pathfinder other people from other squads can spawn on you and other, and other scouts so I thought if I use that more people will be able to spawn on the beacon so I mean don't get me wrong I like Battlefield 5 I, I genuinely like the game I've gotten into it and I know how it works I understand the meta but the problem is, other people aren't as competitive as maybe I am, or aren't as, I don't know, uh, tactically minded. I don't want to come across like I'm some sort of tactical genius, because that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say that I think that, you know, <sighs> there are many... Like, look, I need ammo. The dude's a support character, and they can't just drop me ammo. That's team play 101. And did you notice what they did? They got into the area of the objective, and they stayed there and didn't do anything. They're still on the top now. One of them jumped down and died. Here's me trying to plant the objective, and then I get bum rushed. That's it. Game over. We've got seven tickets left. The game is about to end. I'm glad that my microphone was muted at this point because I am genuinely raging at how incompetent my team are. Like the dude with the LMG. He's sat up there so he can get kills. He's not sat up there so he can be useful. In a minute, uh, well, I think it was in the next game, he was, we were defending. And he was sat in the corner by the objective. Now, fair enough, he sat in the corner by the objective. But he was so far in the corner, nobody could spawn on him. And they had planted one of the objectives and were moving to the other. And he just wouldn't move. He just wouldn't. Nobody could spawn on him. Nobody could do anything. Because the game doesn't reward people playing as a team. The game rewards selfish behaviour. And that's one of the main cruxes, one of the main issues of this game. But anyway, enough of my griping. If you enjoyed this or want to have a discussion about it, please leave me a comment down below. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. If you're new and like that content, hit that subscribe button. And remember to tickle your bell, because if you don't tickle the bell, you'll never know when I'm coming on. I've been your host, AK, and as always, I'll see you in the next iteration. I really want to have a discussion about this. I really think this needs to be discussed. Please share this to all forums of Battlefield knowledge and whatnot else. Bye.